Leslie Roberts, and we're here at Lincoln Center for 2012 New York Fashion Week. Hi, I'm Lecky Roberts, and I'm joined today by Allison Paris, and we are actually in her Chelsea showroom. And uh, thank you so much for having us today. Sure. This is wonderful. I've, I've loved enjoying the ambiance here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it gets a little chaotic in here during Fashion Week, but always nice to have company. What exact? What year exactly did Allison Paris launch? Uh, September 2008. September 2008. So our first collection was fall 2009, so we showed in February of that year. What was that like and what was your experience just? Um, you know, the best of the best and the worst of the worst. It's a lot of ups and downs, um, especially since we really didn't have funding and we didn't, you know, we had two of us working on it. It was a massive amount of work. And I mean, as it all turned out, it worked out pretty well, but uh, it could have been a disaster. <laughs> As so. many do. I mean, so many companies, I think, in the past couple of years have started. And I know when the recession started that it was anybody that started after the recession, it was a lot harder to we did. keep going unless you had yeah. a very specific market. Like Urban Outfitters has done very well, but that's more mass market. And mm -hmm. it seems that's more of the uh, specifically, you know, defined with a great aesthetic, something that would really be specific towards a client. It seems to be more of um, where those openings happened. And um, and we do a lot of neutral colors just because we do a lot of crazy shapes. Um, you know, you're not going to want a fluorescent orange tutu, you know. Um, that would be harder to wear. <laughs> Betsy Johnson would wear it, but... It would be intense. <laughs> so we're trying to hit a happy medium there. Um, this past year, who has been some of your... Who have been some of your biggest celebrity clients? And... Um, we have a... Or your favorite. Favorite? Um... <laughs> I think I'm supposed to pick favorites, uh -huh. but uh, <laughs> I mean, Tell us about a, couple. a couple of great ones like Arden Moraine from Chelsea Lately and uh, she's on Suburgatory and all that now. Um, I she's mean, a she's comedian. Just, yeah. She's great fun and super cute and we'll come over and hang out at the showroom and pick out new dresses for everything. And so now we're standing up and um, Allison Paris is going to show us a couple of her pieces that are maybe a little bit more signature or define her style and um, let's take a look. Sure. Um, well, let's see this beautiful white piece or, or cream. So this is one from the newest collection that shows tomorrow. Um, and this is, you know, as you can see, it's a uh, metal embroidery. So we're doing a lot of like military jackets and things like that, paired with tutus and really light pieces. Obviously. I'm already going to shop it, so excuse me for a minute, but yeah, no, I love, I can't tell you how much, I, I really love the, me personally, um, I would definitely be one of your clients. I love anything with feathers, embellishments, um, anything that kind of evokes femininity, the 1950s silhouette, and even the 20s and, and 30s, like this, yeah, this is gorgeous. Right. Thanks. All right, so we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is stalking our very interesting fashion friends over there. So come along with me and let's go to them. I don't know if they're going to like this, but let's try it anyway. Hi. Hello, how are you all doing? I, I'm, I'm here with myself, and uh, I just thought I would come and ask you a couple of fashion questions, because you guys look great. How about you? What's your name? Um, my name is Charlotte. I have a blog called um, stylecartel.com. I'm a native New Yorker, but I live in Paris and I've lived in London. That's where I met these beautiful people. And this is, I think, my ninth or tenth season doing New York fashion. So my name is Adrian Morales, aka Snappy Lifestyle. That's the website, new style, photography oh. site that I do. I'm here working with Glam Media in the UK. I'm reporting on the shows and street style. What are you going to be wearing tomorrow? I don't know yet. <laughs> I kind of, you know, plan it in the morning. I don't like to plan it to, I like to go with what I feel like. So today I'm very comfortable, I'm kind of grunge slash goth with a little bit of glam, I guess. And that's me. I'm obsessed with studs and skulls. So, she's going to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's really, really nice. Like, she, she's a sweetheart, she knows but she dresses like she's going to kill people. Right. I went to one show today just so I could go get this hat. Um, it's just, 
the, the Nicholas Ka in the morning, which was really good. It was very, it was very like Western influence, but then it was like goth. It was like goths walking down the runway with cowboy hats and hoodies and ponchos. It was really good. I liked it. And the soundtrack, the music was really good as well. And of course, People's Revolution, Kelly Control was rocking the stage. So, we'll go tomorrow. Thank you guys so okay. much for uh, talking you. to me. And have a great rest of the festival. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please be safe. We will. Yeah. I'm responsible. <laughs>